Uh, we're here with Manoj Ketri after Stetson's 0-0 yeah. yeah. tie with Embry Riddle in the season opener. Coach, yeah, just talk cool. to us um, about uh, like the feeling the team has after you know a long-fought uh, tie here against Embry Riddle. Yeah, I think they're pretty disappointed. I think that they wanted to win. It's uh, it was a really competitive match, and uh, you know I was excited to play it, and uh, I'm excited to continue the relationship and and the uh, you know the competitive side of it, but. Um, you know, they're disappointed. They felt like they played well at times, and they wanted to win. Long delay uh, with the rain and the lightning. Uh, you had mentioned that you were, you know, it was interesting because it wasn't something you were used to. Yeah. Um, so talk about how that uh, played out and, and maybe how you, the team had to adjust to that. Yeah, I think it's tough because you get yourself mentally prepared to get ready to play. You know, we do our pregame speech. We get the players motivated and, and moving in a certain direction and then you get out to the field and there's a lightning delay. I think the hardest part is just not knowing when you're going to get back on the field. I think originally we thought we would get back on the field to warm up at starting at 840 and I think we were able to actually start the game at around 835 or so. Um, it's a great test for them mentally to be able to focus, to turn it on, to turn it off. Um, you know, I think a number of them have strategies to do that. I think what I saw was you know, for the most part, it's probably better to isolate them, um, give them a little bit of space, tell them to put their music on, to lie down, just relax and wait. Um, it was nice that we had, you know, some food for them because um, then, you know, they're starting to get hungry. But it, it, it's challenging. I mean, it was challenging for us. It was challenging for them. I'll talk about some of the things you think the team did well tonight. Uh, the defense uh, shut them out. Uh, yeah. What else do you have there? I, first and foremost, um, I told them I was really proud of how we competed for 120 minutes, um, 110 minutes. You know, they, they played fantastic at times. We started really slowly. Um, you know, once again, whenever we match the physical intensity of our opponent, we can play. And I think you saw, like, our style coming out and emerging more in the second half and then through the overtimes. I know it wasn't productive and, and didn't lead to a ton of shots, but, you know, being able to keep the ball, um, I think what they've started to figure out is the longer that we can keep the ball, the easier it is actually to defend. Talk about um, the inability to score in, in this game uh, specifically and maybe what they weren't able to do uh, in that final third. Yeah, I thought that what was missing was that final pass and just a little bit of hunger in, in the box. Um, you know, losing KJ early, um, I think hurt. She's someone who threatens the restraining line, who really gets behind, who puts pressure on team's defense. So, you know, we had to adjust. I thought Alyssa Welsh did a really good job of being a leader. I think a lot of times she was up top with two freshmen and, you know, she got better at holding the ball against pressure and, you know, creating some chances. Um, I just thought we were missing a little bit of hunger in the box. You know, we needed someone to get their head into a place and be a little bit braver on a cross or, you know, a 50-50 ball. Um, you know, I thought that was really the difference in the game. Uh, I got Troy coming up uh, on Sunday. Uh, just talk about what your uh, mindset is going into that game on Sunday. Yeah, I think, you know, we looked at these first couple games and we felt like we're at home, so that's an advantage. We like being at home. We have a beautiful facility, so we know we can play. Um, you know, I think they beat Embry-Riddle last year 2-1 to one, and then lost to Troy one nothing. So we know they're going to be competitive games. We know they're going to be one-goal games. Um, I have no idea what to expect from Troy. It's another opponent that I've never um, faced before as a coach. I think we want to try to, you know, come out and see if we can brand our style of soccer for a longer period of time on Sunday, hopefully create more chances and, you know, be successful. Thank you. You're welcome.